the first home of Adam alayhi salam, it was in Jannah. And he was allowed to enjoy the amenities of the gardens of paradise alongside his wife until one day something happened that would change the entire course of his life. Likewise, the shaitan, he was honored to be in the company of the noble angels, those who are near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, until one day something happened and he was removed from that company. And Yunus alayhi salam, he was the distinguished prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, calling the people to at tawheed until all of a sudden one day something changed. And you have Musa alayhi salam who was the guest in the house of Fir'aun until one day he did something or something happened and all of that changed. And all of these events that I mentioned, they echo a very similar message, a very similar reality, and that is that one choice. One choice is enough to change the entire course of our lives for better or for worse. One choice and Yunus alayhi salam is in the belly of the well. One choice and Adam alayhi salam who was enjoying the fruits of paradise was expelled therefrom. One choice and Iblis who was in the company of the Malaika was removed therefrom. One choice and Musa alayhi salam who was the guest of Pharaoh was a wanted man on the run for his life. How valuable is a single choice? The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that a servant would speak with a statement from the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He doesn't even give it any significance. He doesn't think twice about this statement. And because of this choice of words, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he would raise him in rank and status. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that a servant, he would speak with a statement from the anger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and he doesn't think it significant. He doesn't give it any weight. And because of that choice of words, he would be cast and immersed into the hellfire. Some choices that we make in our lives, they can never be taken back. Some choices that we make in our lives, they have irreversible consequences in this life and perhaps even in the next. For example, when the brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam, they gathered to plot against him and they decided that we're going to cast him into the pit and we're gonna leave him into the wilderness. The ripple effects of that decision, they went on for decades to come. And we find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us about Bani Israel in the Quran when they failed to follow the instruction of Musa alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qala fa innaha muharramatun alayhim that he forbade their entry into the holy land arba'ina sana for 40 years yatihuna fil ard and they were left to wander about aimlessly without direction or destination for 40 years. And this is, of course, in the literal sense in this verse, but this is also something that can manifest in other ways, in different capacities, that we make a decision in our life. And because of that decision, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes us to stand still, making no progress, making no development for decades on end. And I want to make a special emphasis on this particular point for our youth. Because you know when we're young, sometimes we believe that we are invincible. Sometimes we believe that we're untouchable as the expression goes, la nata'allamu hatta nata'allamu. That we don't learn until we get hurt. You can almost guarantee it if you live long enough, you will be presented with difficult choices. You will be presented with the temptations of the life of this world to the point that perhaps you would find yourself pulling on the leg of your parents, begging to go to this place of temptation with this person or that person. One choice and children are being born out of wedlock. One choice and you're struggling with addiction. Or even worse than that, one choice and people are gathering to pray over your body. This is the reality of life. Or on a brighter note, and what we hope for ourselves and our brothers and our sisters and our friends in Islam and the believers around the world is that one choice. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, and you're memorizing the Qur'an. One choice and you're leaving behind that haram relationship or that haram enterprise. 
one choice and you're taking that vacation money and instead of going to Vegas, you're going to make that journey to Mecca and Medina instead. One choice, brothers and sisters, youth and elders, could be the difference between eternal chastisement and eternal salvation in the garden of paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who choose wisely.